Welcome back to the channel everyone, it's that time of the week again for our favorite exotic vendor to show up and disappoint us yet again with only year one exotics. Now this week, Zerg can be found in the tower, you just spawn in on the tower, head over to the hangar, and he's up here on this grate. Now we're going to go over the exotics he's carrying and some of the perk rolls. Now for the weapon, he has the Merciless, which in my opinion is probably the highest DPS fusion rifle out there, then knucklehead radar for the hunter, aeon safe for the titan, and apotheosis veil for the warlock, and as always the faded engram and the five of swords for the nightfall. Let's take a look at the merciless. Non-lethal hits with projectiles make this weapon charge faster until the welder gets a kill. Now this is what makes this weapon so strong against the bigger targets and chambered compensator. Extended Mag, Impetus, and Fitted Stock. Now we'll take a look at the Knucklehead Radar, which this is what gives the Hunter the ability to see his radar at all times when aiming down sights. Fusion Rifle Targeting, Hand Cannon Targeting, Hands On, and Machine Gun Reserves, and Sniper Rifle Reserves. Now this is a perfect role for somebody using a sniper and a hand cannon. Now if you're aiming down sights in your sniper, you're still going to have that radar. So go ahead and pick that up if you want to use a hand cannon and snipe on your hunter. Then we have the Aeon safe for the Titan, which gives all other classes your ability energy. And this has the fusion rifle loader, hand cannon loader, impact induction, machine gun scavenger, and sniper rifle scavenger. Then we have the Apotheosis Veil for the Warlock. Immediate regenerate health, melee, grenade, and rift energy upon activating your super. Nearby allies recharge class abilities faster. And this comes with fusion rifle targeting, hand cannon targeting, hands on, machine gun reserves, and sniper rifle reserves. Now, again, not the best, but the perk roll on it for the hand cannon and sniper reserves is pretty good in my opinion. And as always guys, this Faded Engram will drop an exotic from year one that you do not currently have, depending on which character you're on. If you're on your hunter, it's always going to drop a hunter exotic, and so on and so forth. So I always grab this on my least used character, which is my warlock, in order to fill out all those exotics I'm missing. Thanks for watching guys, any newcomers to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more D2 content like this coming out daily.